water. You know what? Currently out in the water right now, we got Ben Player in the red jersey, Pierre Louis Costa, the French phenom, in the yellow jersey. So if we do have the time, we will show you what we just saw in quarterfinal heat number one. For sure, Matty. And look, hats off to Jake Stone. He surfed his head so well in that, and it's a huge result for for Jake here because uh, you know he was he was on the cusp of the you know getting into the top 16, and nice. now he's you now he's through to the semi final against some very valuable points. So, but look look at the scenario in the water now. You've got you know two of the biggest and most high profile riders in the world, Ben pa Player and Pierre Louis Costes. Not only pride at stake, he's had valuable world title points and uh, Ben Player especially, currently sitting in 10th position on the tour. He gets a good result here. He could rocket himself up into the top four and really start chasing for this world title. Yeah, and if you've seen the video highlight from yesterday's Lay Day, we actually got together with Pierre-Louis Costa and Pierre pretty much put it down on the line. He is in fifth or sixth place and the top four in the rankings are out of the event. So he can make up some serious ground right now for that world title race. For sure, Matty. Pierre, he's currently in seventh place, but as, as I said, if he can win this, he, he'll rock it all out to the second position. No. In, in the title, so, um, and you know he's crunching the numbers as well, so he knows what's at stake. Oh, the guys are all over it. You speak to any of the guys in the top 16, or the top 24 for that matter, and they, are, they know every scenario. They all have a different reason on who they're supporting today. It's not about you know who they like or who's their friend. It, it's just who's going to affect their position on the table. But, uh, but, you know, Ben Player, again, you know, I was speaking to him before he went in the water today, Manny, and uh, he was actually quite relaxed. Ben's normally quite an intense guy. He seemed very relaxed. But, uh, you know, I said to him, you know, what are your thoughts about the world title race? And he said, it starts today with a good result. And you know, there is a, a very easy scenario, a good result here. Ben's back in contention and is a real contender for the world title. Nice. All right, out in the water right now, Ben Player versus Omri, uh, sorry, Pierre-Louis Costa. Ben Player, he's amped, he's ready, and he's, he's pretty happy on the conditions right now. Here we go, yeah, no, for sure. And I think you've got, as you see, up and right in Pierre. Oh, Whoa, my. Opens up his scoring with a big air reverse and rides it out cleanly. Ben Player's first little wave, only a 1.6. Pierre will get a lot more for that. He's claimed it. Uh, I'm not sure if he was straight in the, uh, the wrist rope there or he, he was claiming it, Manny. Well, right and now, PLC and Johan Florentine are the only two French speakers in the event. So you're going to hear a lot of cheering, a lot of support for this guy, Pierre-Louis Costa, in the yellow jersey with a perfect air reverse spin right there on the end ball section. So Pierre clocking in his first wave. Ben Player's first wave came in at a 1.6. So still early in the game. These are 30-minute heats. Top two waves will be scored, and the winner will advance on to the semifinals. Pierre-Louis Costa. Yeah, there he is. Uh, this, you know, the next big thing. Yeah. Uh, only 21 years of age, but you know, so much pressure on him. But he's had that pressure for years now. And uh, look, you know, he's one of the highest profile riders in the sport at the age of 21. And I think there's a lot of people who'd like to see him win here today, Manny. And you know, with that first wave, he's put himself in a very good position. Still 25 minutes to go. Ben Player's one of the strongest competitors on tour, so. Pierre won't be relaxed, but we have the scores dropping, and he's landed a 7.0 for that first wave. So, great opening score, and yeah, 25 minutes. Let's see what BP can do. Once again, welcome everybody. This is the Nissan, Nissan, <laughs> the IBA Nissan Reunion Bodyboard Pro, brought to you by Continental. And we just started with the live broadcast. Heat number one is already in the books of the quarterfinals, where Jake Stone took out the current world champion, Omri Laverne. In the water now, PLC, Pierre-Louis Costa in the yellow jersey, Ben Player in the red jersey. We want to thank you all for tuning in. Manny V with Greg Taylor giving you the live feed all day throughout the day with quarterfinals, semifinals, and a final. So we want to thank you. I know Puerto Rico and the posse are tuning in. Webo, Carla, and their new baby boy, Zion, are tuned in. Uh, UK, we know you're watching. Aaron Denham and Shea Porter going for his boy jake stone so jake stone making shea proud right there anybody you know that is watching right now oh for sure i'm sure all the aussies will be tuning in watching uh, ben player yep going on and he said hopefully a big chunk of the world especially europe watching pierre the frenchman uh take it take it all on but uh, look the time zones work well for australia so it's you know mid-afternoon there so i'm sure ben will have a big fan base and Perfect. i said the french uh, crowd or the Europeans will just be waking up so yep. uh, plenty of people online watching this telecast and 
Uh, look, BP, I, again, told him this morning, he, all his talk about whether this wave's like uh, Blackrock or Aussie Pipe in Australia, he said it does a little bit, uh, but also, yeah, he said today more so than ever. So Ben's renowned for his ability to ride that wave and so he's very suited to these conditions. But at the moment, he's only got a 1.6 on the board. Pierre's opened up with a you know, strong 7.0, so let's see. All right, we, uh, again, I, I'm going to go back to the video click, video clip of PLC that we put on our YouTube channel, and uh, he talks about being more relaxed and enjoying Reunion as it, as it unfolds in front of him, the beauty of Reunion Island, and he's been cruising around with his uh, lovely lady, Root, and uh, he, he's just enjoying everything while here on Reunion Island. Check this out. We got the winner of the first heat. Which Shaggy? Shaggy, where you at, brother? Thanks, guys. I'm down here with Jake Stone. Jake, congratulations on winning the first heat of the morning. Thanks, Shaggy. <laughs> Man, that was a bit of a slow heat to get started with. What was going through your mind at first? Um, it wasn't too much. I was just trying to breathe and just cruise. And um, it's always hard because Maury's such a good, a good competitor. You can just hear him breathing when you're out, so it's pretty intimidating. But yeah, no, it was, a, it was a bit of a slow heat, and unfortunately for him, he didn't really get any waves, and um, I kind of picked the best waves of the of the um, 30 minutes, so I was really wrapped. Well, let's talk about that best wave you had, that um, your second wave it was. Uh, talk us through that one. Uh, there's a lot of adrenaline pumping. I wasn't really, um, I wasn't um, aiming on style on that one. I was just kind of, I just wanted to land it and just get a good score, but um, yeah, no, it was, it was just a wrapping, wrapping bowl. It was really, really easy to hit, so I was stoked. This is your, going to be your first semi-final of the year. Looking forward to that, hey? Got a good result now? Yep, yep. I'm stoked. Um, it's a guaranteed third, so it's yeah, my best result this year, which I'm stoked with. So it's kind of been an uphill climb all year, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with this result so far. And, you know, it's always um, stoked taking down the world champion, so, and that's the first time I've done it. So it gets kind of payback. He got me in Sintra, and now I got him here. I had his home break, so I'm really stoked. Well, congratulations. Go get ready for your next hit, and back to you, Manny. Cool interview right there with Jake Stone. And you know what? He's got the mentality. It looks like he's mentally ready to take on the rest of the field in the semifinals and final. He, who knows? He might make it into the final and take this whole thing. Oh, for sure. He's a real threat. And you, you, heard, you heard him talk there. It's uh, it's pretty ruthless, his competition. Uh, you know, obviously, Omri on his home turf and had a big following. But Jake Stone, he's got to look after his own aspirations. And you see, he took it personally. He wanted uh, Omri got him in Sintra. Jake Stone wanted to pay him back, and what better place to do it than at the home break? So these guys, you know, very pleasant atmosphere out of the water. But once they get in the water, it, it's every man for themselves. It's game on. It is dog eat dog out in the water, and uh, these guys are putting it all on the line. This is the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals, and it, it took a lot to get to this spot. So they're going to go out there, give it 110 percent. And Ben Player right now sitting on a 2.8 PLC came out charging with his first wave, a 7.0. So it's not over. Tons of time left. 20 minutes, 30 seconds remaining in heat number two of the quarterfinals. Yeah, Manny. During the interview there, Ben Play did catch the second wave. But it was only a 1.2, a bit of a throwaway. So Ben uh, feeling the pressure a little bit. Pierre's just got the one wave, the one that counts, the 7.0. Uh, and BP, he's got the two waves, but only a combined score of 2.8. So he probably needs to replace both of those if he wants to progress into the semi final. And waiting in the semi final on this side of the draw, you've got Jake Stone, who's already booked himself a seat, so it just doesn't get any easier from here. You might get through this one, then you face, you know, inform Jake Stone, and, you know, all the way from the first rounds, uh, Jake's been on top form, but there's Ben, actually looking quite relaxed. As I said, he was more relaxed than normal this morning, and uh, I'm sure inside he's uh, really feeling it, but look at that great footage from Seamus Mackie, out on the ski, but here we go, Manny, Ben Player. All right, Ben Player dropping in and pulls in. Nice cut right there, nice bottom turn, goes into a back lip, I believe, or... Um, there he goes to the inside, tries to complete a roll and punch through the lip and pulls off a nice combination maneuver right there. So uh, medium size, I'm saying about a five, five point wave or so, but he needs that to start building on. So here's another look. For sure, man. Look, he gets up with that and he said he flips it nicely. He said does it right at the start of the wave in the critical section of the wave uh, and gets back right. around and strings together a few moves. So look, great uh, combination surfing for Ben. Definitely a keeper. And as you said, many will wait for the scores to drop, but it will likely to be in that five point region and puts him back in the contest we, we still 19 minutes to go tons of time for anything to go down especially in these conditions we're looking at three to four foot uh it turned side shore turned offshore now we're like uh, the wind doesn't even know what it wants to do but 
it is a nice win. We've have uh, we've had pretty okay wins throughout the entire event. Coming cross shore, side shore win, so it really didn't affect the wave too bad. But here we are with nice conditions, so these guys definitely have some waves to con contest in. Yeah, for sure. And it's all eight and a half minutes to go. Uh, it said Ben Player with that second or well, that high scoring waves moved into first position with a seven point one. Uh, but he's got that's a two wave score, whereas Pierre Louis Costa is sitting there in, in second place with just the one seven point zero. But Manny, I'm going to check out for now. We'll get Mark McCarthy in. But before I do, a shout out to my boy uh, Riley. Nice. He's tuning in. He's just woken up uh, from his sleep. So. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> hey, Riley. I'll see you soon, mate. But uh, over to you, Manny. All right. Thanks, brother. Uh, we will see you shortly. Right now, coming into the hot seat is the South African, the one and only Mark McCarthy. Mark McCarthy is going to give us the inside scoop on what these guys are thinking, what they need to do, and everything else Mark McCarthy has to offer is me. <laughs> so get settled in. There's Michael Novi in the competitors area right now. He's coming in. He's coming up to uh, in heat number three of the quarterfinals against the crazy Basque man, Alex Uranga. Alex Uranga has, uh, you know, he was uh, totally hurt, but still he's coming up next. Alex Uranga had a hurt shoulder, collarbone, and he actually hit the reef with his face the other day. So he feels no pain. He's going against Michael Novi. Um, Coming up in heat number, quarterfinal number three. Okay, Mark McCarthy, how you feeling, bro? Good morning. Yeah, good, good, man. Good to be here. <laughs> Finally. Yes, yes. Uh, why haven't you been here before? Uh, normally been in the water. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now he is uh, in, I believe... I was in third before this event. I'll probably drop a little bit more. Oh, yeah, we got Ben. Eh? Ben's up and running. All right, talk oh, us through this one. He's in the, he's in the airport. Nice no, little inverts. Uh, I don't think he got, I don't think he got what he really wanted out there, but um, we'll put, put one on the board for him for sure. All and right, talk to us. Talk to us about these conditions right now from a competitor's point of view. What do you see out there? What do the guys need to do to make it to the semifinals? Oh yes, Pierre. Pierre's going live. We got him here. Oh, he doesn't like that one. Obviously, looked down the line and saw it wasn't scoring potential for him. But um, yeah, I mean, I had a good. I had a good surf this morning. Uh, out there, and I know that uh, the waves have been probably the best that's been all all week. So it's great to have the last final day here, and it's great that um, the guys can showcase it. Awesome. Do you feel a little bummed that you're not out there with these guys yeah, right now? I'm always a bit envious, but um, oh, I'm not too much of a bad sport, so I'm, I haven't left the, left the island yet. I'm still enjoying it, and I'm yeah. enjoying the competition and the vibe around here. Well, we know what the, co the contest has been delivering. What is your been your favorite part about Reunion Island aside from the contest? Um, well, before coming here, I, got, I just um, a lot of guys said the guys weren't that friendly and stuff, but uh, it's just been incredible. The locals, yeah. uh, the food, the just the touring. It's probably definitely the the most beautiful place I've ever been to. And here we go, frame frame by frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the guys, some of the media guys, actually had the opportunity to get in a helicopter and take a tour up and above the island and when they came back they just said unreal this place is phenomenal the huge ravines that we see off of the main road is nothing wow. compared what they seen up above the island and this is uh i believe one of the main extinct volcanoes salizis mountain it is uh in the west and it is one of the most beautiful sites that they've seen look at that man that's incredible there's actually a community up in uh, one of these cirques is what they call it big cauldron that uh, of extinct volcanoes so absolutely beautiful see that's something that you always dreamed about seeing uh, well we've been i'm mean, very fortunate to go some of some of the um, waterfalls and uh check out some of the there you go, alex lava uh, in the competitors area he's getting ready he's got nothing to lose no no but he can be the spoiler right now for michael novi who's been on a pretty good run right now alex Uranga, michael novi coming up next for quarterfinal heat number three Woo. All right, so as you know, Alex Uranga, if you've been watching from day number one, Alex Uranga showed up to the event with a uh, injured collarbone. Yeah. He went out there, was doing maneuvers as if he wasn't even injured at all. And then in one of his heats, he caught a wave, kicked out, uh, and went under the whitewash head face first and had a little uh, encounter with the reef and kissed the reef. So he got cut up on his face. Include that with his hurt collarbone. He's just... Uh, 
I don't know how he's pulling it off. Yeah, it seems like uh, he's just getting stronger and stronger. The more, uh, the more hurt he gets. So, <laughs> we'll see. We hope he doesn't get more hurt. Be, I mean, he's been he's been the guy to beat at you so far. He's taken out uh, big names, Guillermo Tomega. Oh yeah. And um, that that heat was incredible watching uh, Urango. Just, uh, just watching him through the whole contest has been great. You know, he's a uh, big show out, and he, he's just shown that he's he's here to stay. Yeah, uh, Alex Urango from the Europe, Spain, yeah, and. The Basque country he actually showed up, uh, I think, the second or first day and uh, looked at all the flags and noticed that there wasn't a Basque flag. So he actually went back, tore up a sheet, and actually drew the, the Basque flag uh, with a mar magic marker and hung it up along, along the other flag. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. Incredible. Yeah, I know. Um... Okay. So you are from south africa it's a short flight over what three four hours and boom you're here in the beautiful island of reunion i mean this is as close as you can get to paradise yeah i mean very really grateful that normally normally it's at least a, at least a 20 20 hour flight for us to get to most of the locations but you can see it's uh, just a, a couple of hours flight from Johannesburg over to um to reunion island for us and it's the first time I've been here, so it's definitely not going to be the last. I'm definitely going to be coming over here a bit more often now that I know what uh, it has to offer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely amazing. Clear blue water. A lot of people have been making their comparison to Hawaii because uh, everybody makes the trek to Hawaii, and they see what the, the Aloha spirit, the water, everything, and a lot of people are making that comparison. Is, is, do you feel no, the same? Totally. I feel that. I mean, uh, it's got that same energy. I mean, the waves are incredible, and the people are amazing. Yeah, the people have been amazing. I mean, you show up at somebody's house, next thing you know, you're walking out with a full belly of local food <laughs> and, 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 and a smile. So exactly, yeah. Michael Novi not smiling right now, just fully focused and concentrating, leaving the competitor's area, getting ready for his heat against the, the guy that feels no pain, Alex Uranga. They're coming oh. up next. Right now, currently in the water, where, do, where are we at? Yeah, so um, right now, Ben Player, he's taking the lead. It's not, um, PA doesn't need much, he only needs a 2.5, so it's going to be... Uh, it's come down to the crunch, crunch time. The last uh, 11, 11 and a half minutes to go. So uh, this is the make or break for most of them. I know Ben would probably want to better, better his four-point ride and uh, give Pierre a bit of a challenge. So we have uh, heat number two, a quarterfinals out in the water in the yellow jersey, PLC, Pierre-Louis Costa, yep. and in red, Ben Flair. We're going to see heat number three of the quarterfinals coming up next, Alex Uranga versus Michael Novi, and we are going to finish the quarterfinals with Dave Winchester versus the local legend himself, uh, Johan Florentin. That is going to be cracker. another insane quarterfinal coming up. Look at Ben Player. Look at the backdrop. Absolutely gorgeous. Incredible. I know Ben, uh, he doesn't stop working until the end of the heat, so he's going to be searching. He's going to be looking for to better his scores. And um, here he goes. He's panning back out there. He's got priority, Manny. Well, right now it looks like the priority flag showing the yellow flag up, standing, waving in the wind. So yellow, Pierre-Louis Costa has priority. So you're a competitor. You'll probably explain a little bit better. Give us the lowdown on the priority system. Yeah, so um, you want to use your priority to, uh, especially with man-to-man, -man, you, you can um, wait for the best wave. And like now Pierre's got a seven-point ride. He, he would want to get something, something... And then about a seven, maybe better to uh, put uh, Ben in a bit of an awkward position. So if he gets another big score here, he's, Ben's going to be searching pretty hard uh, to beat him. How do you get priority? So, well, priority is basically the, um, the guy that, um, that gets out there to the back in the first. Uh, f obviously, the first guy to the back. And uh, Ben having a look at that, not going. But um, so once, uh, once Pierre takes away, obviously, then Ben has got second priority, and Ben will obviously take over, and he'll get priority till. Pierre gets back out there and he'll get second priority again. So you can use it as a strategy component. Yeah. I mean, that could be a weapon if you are leading the charge and you have priority. You can hold off the other rider from yeah. catching can, a good wave. Yeah, you can hold them off. You can't hold them off for a whole each. You can basically hold them off for one wave. If you attempt to hold them off once and then basically give, up, give the priority over to, the next, to your competitor. All right. When, but, um, when would it be bad to have a priority? I mean, uh, in a situation where you have priority and you're waiting for that one wave, but you you let waves go, and so next thing you know, you're out of time. Yeah. Well, I don't think it, oh, here we go. Being on the right, he's taking off, uh, looking like a little ball. Nice little section. Nice little reverse there. We're gonna be stuck to that, and uh, I'm sure it'll better that four point right of his. All right. So we're gonna be seeing riders going right early in the competition. The rights have a little bit more punch, a little bit more uh, a kick on the section that, that yeah. comes towards in the inside. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems to run into the, the, the dry reef a lot faster. So not a longer wave. Pierre having a look. He's interested. He's going. 
All right, Pierre uh, dropping in on the left-hander, so holding that speed line, finding the inside, looking for that inside section, and here it comes. What's he going to do? I'm going to guess a uh, big air roll spin and ARS on the inside section. He's not done yet, coming all the way to the inside, and a roll, oh not a gosh. clean roll, but a, a competitive roll where he knew he had to pull it off, make it nice and clean, and done. Another solid way for PLC. Yeah, he's um, he's being a man on some feet on form. Here he goes. He has the replay. He takes up. He knows what he wants to do. I can. He senses he needs that first section. The first one to really do it for him. So he's lining up with the second one up here. Nice bottom turn. Clean flip. He does this all day. He can do that in his sleep, any. <laughs> he does. And um, he lines up here. He, uh, not much to offer. So he just links up a nice little roll. He's gonna get a good score, man. It's definitely probably gonna be his definitely scoring wave. Well, PLC only really needed a 2.5 on his second wave, and oh, uh, he's going to get more than that. Ben Player on this right. Nice little reverse there. I don't think he got much pop as he wanted. Scores a son to drop in here, and Ben gets a 5.15. It's better as it's 4.5, but, but there's some bigger scores dropping for PLC. It's going to put some Woo! Ben Player in a bit of a situation here. All right, so Ben Player right now, his score... 5.15 and oh, PLC's wave came in. Woo! Now yeah. Ben needs a non. So when the French speaking competitor PLC drops in, you can hear the entire crowd erupting for with support and cheering. And uh, he's one of the few, uh, well, one of two now of the French speaking writers holding it down here at Les Arches on Reunion Island. The next, the next, the other French speaker. Johan Florentin, he's yeah. going to be going against Dave Winchester, heat number four. That'll be coming up soon. That's going to be interesting. I know that um, the island will definitely adopt Pierre as one of their, their French, um, French um, guys. So it's going to be uh, very interesting. And uh, this is going to be very interesting now with how many, how many minutes we've got here? Seven minutes to go. Ben needs a nine. We've seen him do that against Jeff in the last heat. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, w w what's going to... Hey, there's Root. Root <laughs> is uh, PLC's uh, lovely wife, and she's on the scene. And they've actually been doing a lot of tours together. So he's very relaxed, enjoying all the sights of Reunion Island with his, uh, with his wife. Coming up next, or I mean with his girlfriend, uh, is Dave Winchester. Dave Winchester, <laughs> man. The man has been on fire, this comp. And um, he's a uh, very unpredictable rider. He's um, hot and cold, but uh, I had a couple of words with him today. He has a line up here. That's coming up next. Heat yeah. quarterfinal, heat Maybe number heat. four. Dave Winchester and Johan Florentin. Johan is the local legend here, just ripping every wave that he gets on. So this is going to be an interesting heat for sure. Quarterfinal number yeah. four. I think they're all pretty jam packed, and uh, it's hard to choose who's going to win. You know, but um, if I have to put money on that last heat, it's going to be pretty hard. But it's going to be pretty hard to beat the local boy. I know he's been on fire. So we will see. Give us a rundown on how you're competition went here at the Nissan Reunion Bodyboard Pro? Uh, well, first it was, a, it was a quite a struggle to get here with um, my visa requirements, and um, I got into a last-minute flight. So I just got over here the day before the contest. And um, Do you need a visa for any other country <laughs> as a South African? <laughs> I need a visa to just go to the shops. I know. The South Africans have a really tough time of traveling around the world because of, I mean, you need a, a visa almost everywhere. Everywhere I need a visa, yeah. So, um it always puts a bit of pressure because I need it. It needs at least 10 to 15 days mm -hmm. for what to process, and also it's not cheap, Benny. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> a couple of hundred bucks there, a couple of hundred bucks there, so it yep. all pulls up. But um, yeah, so we got here, and uh, I was able to set my first seat, and uh, I had a bit of a. It was the first seat of the day, and uh, I never haven't set that yet, so it was very difficult. I got a fourth, but then I was able to bounce back to my second round. I got a first, and then um, needing to get a first or second in my, my last round, but unfortunately I didn't get it, and I. I got uh, I got fourth again, so unfortunately uh, out of the contest. But looking forward to the next one. Yeah, for sure. That is Puerto Rico. Yeah, uh, and it, uh, it didn't work out too bad because uh, all the top four guys fell out. Myself, yeah. um, uh, Tamega, along with um, Jeff. So it opens up the door. Opens up the door for guys like Ben. He has Ben now. He's live. He knows what he needs. He needs a big score. He's not gonna. He pulls into the nice ba barrel, sits in the pocket, comes out of the Whoa. flip. Nice. Nice combination of yeah, maneuvers nice right combo. there. He's looking up for something else. I don't know if he's got nothing too much to offer on this one. You can tell oh. he's in contest mode right now, yeah. just taking that wave all the way to the inside. And, you know, not much there for the inside, but he gave it a shot because he knew he, he, he's, he's behind the A-ball right now against PLC. Ben Player, was that a 9.0 ride? I don't think so, but it, no. may, you know, it may increase his yeah. second wave of a 5.15. So we'll see 
what the judges have to say. Let's take another look. Talk us through it. Give us details. So he pulls in. He's um, using that as, as fins of his to just uh, stay in there as long as he can. Pops a little flip. Uh, it's going to be very hard. It's going to be very close. He's got a five point, two five. It's not going to help the situation. He's still going to need an on, and uh, he's going to get back out there and start uh, working at that with uh, three minutes and forty seconds to go. All right. Now that you didn't, you didn't make it out of the leaderboard rounds. Coming into the next contest, what do you do to prepare physically and mentally so this doesn't happen again? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you just got to restart and restart everything, and just um, focus on the next event. The next event's going to be. Um, uh, in Puerto Rico. I haven't been there before and I heard the waves really good, so I'm really excited for that event. All right, so coming up next on the IBA World Tour is Puerto Rico, the Enchanted World Series, I believe, and yeah. it's going to be an amazing event as well. Another beautiful island. All, all you guys are very <laughs> lucky to be traveling to these exotic yeah. spots to uh, not only hang out with your friends, but compete and uh, enjoy the surroundings. And so far, this is uh, stop number six out of the six, which has been uh, your favorite. Oh, it's been it's very hard. I think for Chile is one of my favorites because the, the waves were pumping and I uh, got a good result there. Um, this has been a very special place for me and um, it's with uh, my, my family being over here with me. We're coming to watch my dad and my mom. It was their 30th anniversary a couple of days ago. Awesome. So it was pretty cool to experience that with them on this beautiful island. Cool. So what, what have you guys done as a family? Um, we've been... Uh, just to, I drove around the whole island yesterday. Oh, <laughs> it how took, long did uh, that take? About five hours. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, but um, it's not the easiest island to drive around. It's lots of uh, curves and the traffic's it's an issue. Oh no, which is amazing because you would think an island would have uh, not. I mean, there are almost 800,000 people living on the island, but you would think that um, there wouldn't be that much traffic. Everybody's just cruising around on bikes and yeah. mopeds, but. Uh, a lot of tourists yeah. driving around. Yeah, I think there's way too, way too many cars on this island for yeah. uh, for what it has to offer. But um, it was it's an amazing day. We drove, we left here in the morning, and uh, the sun the sun was shining. As we got over to the other side of the island, it was just raining and horrible. Oh wow! But um, but it's still beautiful, you know. So you have a variety of climates, from what I hear. I haven't gone around the island, but I've heard you can go from like you said, sunny to old, uh, rainy to dry to moist. So yeah, it's got it's, uh, this island's got everything to offer, and um, it's a beautiful place, and if you ever want to come and get a bit of island vibe, this is the place to be. Yeah, this place is amazing. It's a French-speaking island, but uh, everybody who doesn't speak French is still accommodating and very hospitable. So definitely put yeah. it on your list. Let's bring you up to speed right now. Quarterfinal heat number two out in the water. One minute remaining. PLC is leading the charge with a combined top two wave scores of 14.5. Ben Player, he is on the hunt for 9.0, so Ben Player yeah, Taking a look at this one. No. Oh, no. He knows he needs a nine-point wave, so he's going to yeah. wait for that one. And right now, priority is with PLC. Oh, PLC just waited out. He, he has a look at this one. No, he doesn't go, but um, there, there, we got this, there we got the scores. And uh, there's PLC with his best two waves, a 7 and a 7.5, very strong. And Ben's got a 5.5 and a 5.25. So so Ben still needs a, a nine-point ride, and with with only 30 seconds to go, 20 seconds now. Oh no! I don't know if he's gonna do it. It's gone pretty flat in the back there too. He has Ben. He's looking desperate. Oh, he has a look. Oh, go very desperate looking paddle right there, Ben Player. So we've already seen one. You know what? I, I want to say upset, but every every oh, every man. quarterfinal is gonna see an upset, and we just saw one right now for the second time in a row today. Grand player, last ditch effort, not a nine point scoring way, but you can sell the, you can see the frustration devastated. right there. Yeah, Ben's gonna be devastated. I know he wanted to make he, it's so important for him and, and for PLC for the title race for them to get a good result in here. PLB stoked. <laughs> He's having a bit of fun out there, catching the last wave in. But um yeah, that's that's gonna be a heartbreaker for Ben. Yeah, Ben Player is uh, succumbed as the same as Omri did in the first heat, both getting second place, and that is the end of their run.